totally teed you up. All you have to do is take a swing. Nick Novicki has acted in over 40 shows and movies like The Good Doctor, The Sopranos, and Boardwalk Empire. Hey, can you lend me a few bucks? I'd like to, but I'm a little short. He also founded the Easter Seals Disability Film Challenge, which has put disability in the entertainment spotlight since 2013. The film challenge is a solution to more greater authentic disability inclusion. We give people with disabilities opportunities both in front of and behind the camera. And most importantly, our work is leading to jobs. So it's pretty amazing. He highlights a few of the winning films from this year's record-breaking 93 entries, all of which are available to watch at disabilityfilmchallenge.com. Who's ready to start these awards? Starting with Nay Nay Two Bomb, which won the Best Actor Award for Natalie Travone. Natalie is blind and she's incredible as an actress, as a disability advocate. It's about her as a blind rapper and it's really funny and it's just a great film. And to know me is a blessing, baddest in the room. I have a feeling this is gonna lead to a lot of work for Natalie Travone and I'm very excited about that. And we can't wait to see what she does next. Next, Social Fitness, which won the Best Awareness Campaign Award. This award is all about getting likes, views, and shares for your films. It's about getting it out there to the world. Tonight, we go behind the scenes of a new type of fitness trend, the fitness it takes to socialize with other humans. The comedy inside Social Fitness was really genius, talking about the complexities of being in a virtual world, and I think that really connected to all of the viewers. With everything being on Zoom, it's all business up top and easy breezy down below. And finally, the biggest winner of the 2021 Easter Seals Disability Film Challenge, Dwarfo Psychosis. Which stars a little person alongside his brother who thinks that he's also a little person. So it's a hilarious film. The winners of best film and best director. You know you don't need a stool, right? I think they really touched the chord in addressing being a little person and disability identity. It's just very honest, very funny. It's not about what's out here. It's about what's in there. Inspiring entertainers to reach for the stars. We're 25% of the population, and we deserve a seat at the table. On the hot list.